So parents can test if a toy is a choking hazard by taking the small part of the toy and dropping it into the tube. If the toy fits through the tube, then it is a choking hazard and should be kept away from children under three years old. Um, so small magnets like this, if ingested, can bind up a child's small intestines and cause serious internal long-term damage. The problem is that the mixing agent used to make it often includes borax, which is a toxic chemical used in rat poison. So as you can see, it would be very easy for a child to play with this and put their hands in their mouth or to simply ingest the slime itself, which can cause serious internal damage along with nausea and vomiting. So audio hazards are another category of detectable dangerous toys. And to test if a toy is too loud for your child, you can simply hold it up close to your head the way that your child would hold it if they were playing with it and turn on the sound. You should let the song run all the way through to hear how loud each part is. So I'll demonstrate it now.